Hey guys, it's Dan, your host of Dan's Reviews, and today I'm back for another video for Fear of the Walking Dead. This one's going to be going over the entirety of Season 6 of Fear of the Walking Dead, and this time we're going to be going over all the episodes and ranking them all, all 16, from worst to best. Today, this one's gonna be doing another video for Fear the Walking Dead. This one is gonna be doing another worst to best list. This one is gonna be talking about all the episodes of Fear the Walking Dead season six and ranking them from worst to best. So, obviously, guys, yesterday we did our full season review that's in the channel now. Um, but definitely, this one is another one I wanted to do because I know the opinions are gonna be very different back and forth. Uh, keep in mind, this is just my personal opinion. Obviously, everybody's entitled to their opinion. Uh, I think that uh, season six of Fear the Walking Dead definitely has some really great episodes and some really bad episodes. So anyway, without further ado, let's jump right into the list. So I think the most obvious one to start off this list is number 16 is going to be, of course, season six, episode eight, The Door. Um, Yeah, it has to be the lowest episode on the list. This episode was a freaking joke. I'm sorry. Um, they kill off like literally the one of the best characters in the show, uh, you know, by the hands of Dakota, the way they treat this death, the way they treat this episode you know, it is sad, but honestly, I'm just not a fan of the way they do this at all. Um, number 15 is going to be season six, episode 14, Mother. Uh, this episode, not a fan of this one either. Uh, I think this episode really suffers a lot with the Cole storyline. Teddy as a villain, just in general, is not the greatest. Um, and Alicia really annoys me in this one as well, too. So, um, this one uh, just did not work for me for an episode. Uh, number 14 is going to be Season 6, Episode 10, Handle with Care. Uh, essentially, this is just a spacer episode. I look at this as filler, to be honest. Yes, uh, Daniel gets screen time. Yes, there's the Rolly twist, which we find out later in the season. But honestly, I just don't think plot-wise, this really does anything that special, to be honest with you. Coming in at number 13 is going to be the season finale, Season 6, Episode 16, The Beginning. Now, this one, I know, is going to be a real shocker for you guys. Um, I just don't like this finale. I mean, I'm sorry. I really don't. Uh, there are some decent moments. I like Dakota's death. I like some, you know, aspects of it. But for a finale, I mean, my goodness, it let us down. Um, honestly, they could have done a million times better. And the way they hyped this episode, not feeling this one, guys. Uh, season 6, episode 12 is going to be my uh, number 12 spot as well, too. This one's called In Dreams. Um, this one, uh, it is a, a decent episode. Uh, I think the dream sequences do work because there is a sad story to this. However, is it to kind of fill out the story a little bit and draw things out a little bit more? Absolutely. I, I definitely think it is. I, I don't think the storyline was 100% needed. It was well done, but again, it's the most I could do for an episode like this is to put it at a number 12 spot uh, just at the moment. Uh, number 11 is going to be episode 15, USS Pennsylvania. Um, I think this episode is pretty good. I, you know, there's some stuff in this, in the, you know, uh, you know, in the uh, submarine that I think is really good. I like the conversation between Teddy and John Dory Sr. Uh, I do like the strand twist when he tries to kill, uh, kill Morgan. I, I know a lot of people don't like that. Where this episode falls short for me, though, is the plot armor and kind of the way some of the stuff is presented. Um, I think there were definitely some things that could have been improved on, uh, and the biggest one being the plot armor. But again, it's a pretty good episode. It's a pretty good penultimate for a, uh, for a season. Um, number 10 is going to be Season 6, Episode 7, Damage from the Inside. Um... Man, this one's a, a really, you know, controversial episode. I am more on the side, though, of I like it. I, I think it's actually a really good episode. The only thing I don't like is the, uh, you know, uh, kind of side of Ed that, like, he's crazy, always not, always crazy, always not. But aside from that, it's really good. You got the Grace ending. You've got a lot of great stuff with Strand in this one, the standoff, Morgan's introduction, um, really just some fantastic stuff in this one. And I think this uh, this definitely stands alone as a pretty good episode. Maybe not as a mid-season finale, but it's still a really good episode, uh, I would say, all around. Coming to number nine is going to be season six, episode six, Bury Her Next to Jasper's Leg. So this this episode, very, very well done. Uh, this is when we're starting to get into see uh, some episodes here that I actually really am starting to like. Uh, this episode, I think it's really good. We got, you know, the you know the final John and June stuff of the entire series. Um, so that really already is already a special episode for me. Uh, it's a great June episode as she saves Jenny's life. And of course, what happens later really calls back to this one. So I think this one's really cool. Uh, we also know that the end is the beginning group. Uh, also, you know, did a lot of the work in this episode. And honestly, uh, I think in retrospect, once you see the season, 
season all the way through, it makes this episode really shine. It absolutely does. Um, number eight is going to be season six, episode uh, five, which is called Honey. Uh, this episode, very, very good. Uh, I really like the uh, kind of, uh, you know, Sherry and Dwight storyline. Sherry is not the best character in this one, but I still understand she, you know, she, you know, she's definitely dealing with a lot. And we get to see a lot of uh, Morgan as he enters, some of the conflict there. Uh, I think it's a very well done episode, and I think there's some, some cool stuff in this one for sure. Uh, number seven is going to be season six, episode 11, which is called The Holding. Uh, this one, very creepy episode, very good setup for a villain group. Um, I would have put it higher on the list. The only problem is, is that this, you know, storyline doesn't really go too far. That's the problem with it. But initially, when you see the episode, very good episode. It's actually Alicia's best episode and probably her only good episode this season. Uh, Riley's a great character. The Derek storyline with Wes, I thought was very well handled and very well done. Very creepy, very just... Uh I don't know. It really sucks you in in this episode. I, I think it's uh, I think it's very very good. Um, I think there's a lot of good stuff in this one. Uh, number six is going to be season six, episode three, which is called Alaska. Uh, this episode is the Dwight and Alfie episode. I think this one, to be honest, is very mad underrated, to be honest. I think the way they do this one with uh, the kind of uh, bond between Dwight and Althea I actually think works very, very well. Uh, we finally, after all this time, get to see Dwight and Sherry actually like come back together, um, as well as some CRM stuff and some really cool callbacks. I just, I don't know. I think it's really good. I mean, heck, even the opening scene with Morgan as he's putting both the axe on one part and the staff on the other part. I mean, come on, man. This is a cool episode. And honestly, uh, I think this one really, really is uh, a special one. Um, so yeah, next up is going to be season six, episode uh, two. This one's called Welcome to the Club. Uh, this one uh, I think is another really awesome episode. This one's the one at Lawton where, you know, you got Strand and that. They're killing all these walkers and stuff like that. Daniel for, you know, kind of fakes, uh, you know, memory loss, uh, which then he reveals when he sees Morgan again, which that scene was incredible when he sees Morgan again. And he's like, eh, you could use a haircut, you know, and he's like, good to see you, Morgan, you know, um, really, really cool episode. Honestly, another great one, great character episode for Strand. Uh, Daniel, even some minor parts for Alicia, and honestly, yeah, they do this one very, very well. Coming to number four is going to be season six, episode nine, called Things Left to Do. So this one, I know some people like it, some people don't. I am in the boat. I think this episode is honestly like, I don't know, man, I don't get the hate. I think this episode is a fantastic end to the pioneers. Uh, I think, you know, John getting, uh, you know, a, a revenge for that character with June killing Virginia, seeing that death play out and her walk out the way she does and put the freaking hat on, I still, still get chills thinking about that scene. And honestly, I just love it. Uh, the battle in Lawton, very, very exciting. Uh, we get to see Morgan almost publicly execute Virginia, uh, which I think is just that whole scene really, really well done. Um, and honestly, I don't know, man, something about it. I think this episode uh, and in particular, this was meant to be a mid-season premiere. Man, that this would have served as a season finale, in, in my opinion. Um, but anyway, that I know a lot of people don't like it, so we'll move on. Number three is going to be season six, episode 13, JD. Um, I've gone back on this episode. I've kind of tried to think back. I'm like, okay, did I give it too much credit? Did I not? No, I'm sorry. This episode, it is fan-freaking-tastic. I mean, honestly. Um... What they do with John Sr., what they do with the June character, uh, the, you know, uh, the whole setup with Teddy, which unfortunately doesn't go too far, but just John Dory uh, Sr. as a character, um, you know, paying respects to him, the note scene with June, the death of Hill, I mean, just hell, everything. I mean, Sherry even comes around in this one, like, that's when you know an episode's good, when Sherry's actually good. Um, man, I'm telling you, th this episode, it's got so much... Not to mention the cherry on top when Morgan meets uh, John Dory Sr. for the very first time. Man, that scene. That is one of my favorite scenes of this season. So that episode, fantastic. Um, number two is going to be season six, episode four, The Key. Uh, this is the John investigation episode with the Cameron death. Uh, we get to see Strand. We get to see him versus John. We get to see the brutal death of Janice as well as uh, John. Just And the reason why this episode is so special to me is because this is the last true like awesome John Dory episode we have ever you'll know, ever have in Fear the Walking Dead um 
Because in 606, he doesn't do too much. And in 608, it's just the planning for his death, you know? But for Season 6, Episode 4, we really explore that character. We really, you know, spend a lot of time with him. And now I understand why. And honestly, it's just such a special episode for me going back. Plus, I love the scene with Morgan at the very end. The jump scare when he gets attacked by those people from the end is the beginning group. Um, a lot of greatness in there. And then... Number one still holds up. Yes, the season premiere of season six. Number one, episode one, the end is the beginning, man. Honestly, what a freaking awesome episode. Um, Morgan, right? He's near death. You have this bounty hunter that's after him. He completely just flips that around. We get the dam introduced. We get, of course, the uh, the uh, new uh, Isaac character um, and uh, Emil there. We get an amazing fight between him and Emil. And, uh, of course, telling Virginia, you know, Morgan's dead. You're dealing with somebody else now. Um, I just, oh, my God, man, this episode, what can't I say good about it? Like, honestly, it is not only, okay, the best episode of season six. It is literally... My favorite Fear of the Walking Dead episode, and this is a nice one, it is literally a top 10 Walking Dead franchise episode. Yes, I just said that. The way this episode goes, it freaking blows my mind sometimes, man. Honestly, it blows my mind what they were able to do, and the fact they were able to pick up with season 5 and that crappy ending and bleed into this... Oh my God, man. Honestly, I can't say anything, but just wow. Like, honestly, wow. So that's my ranking. Those are my rankings for season six of Fear of the Walking Dead episodes from worst to best. That is my thoughts. But now I want to hear from you guys in the comment section below. Where do you guys feel uh, about this list? And uh, what is your list looking like? And is it similar, completely different? Let me know in the comment section below. And anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching this video. Write your comments in the comment section below. If you guys are new here, click to subscribe and tune in some of my videos of Fear of the Walking Dead. Follow Dan's Walking Reviews on screen, guys. And of course, I'll see you guys really soon for another video for Fear of the Walking Dead. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys, and peace out.